everybody, thank you for joining me on my YouTube channel, Kate May Modern Day Mystic. I thought we would have a look at some angel messages for you this week. So, we're going to have a look at some different cards. I'm going to ask you guys to choose a number between one and four. Sit quietly, close your eyes, and just tune into the energy, tune into the moment. Settle your energies, try and clear your mind. There might be a particular question that you want answered or there could just be a message that you want from the divine there. Take a few deep breaths and then just allow your mind to come up with a number one to four. Now if you've picked number one, the nine of earth from the gorgeous tarot deck, the angel tarot. The nine of earth indicates your hard work is gonna pay off for you. So this is number one. Your hard work is gonna pay off for you. Can you see that gorgeous colors and imagery there? It's predominantly an earth card, so it does connect to material things. So the first card may be on material or work or home situations. If it's about romance there, this indicates that you'll need to put a little bit of work into it. Now the nine of earth indicates that you can spend time enjoying things at the moment. Relationships come to a point where you can enjoy each other, where there's a mutual respect and where there's some harmony. Finances, much better. This indicates that there is time now to be able to enjoy a little bit of spending some money, spending some of that cash, that hard earned energy that you put in and just buying something a little bit luxurious for yourself. If you are self-employed or if you are looking for a promotion, this card is one of the best cards for it. Success is coming in around it. It's a reap what you sow card in any area. So think about what it is that you want to reap. Think about what energy you're going to put into something. This is the answer. It's all going to come good for you. A little bit of lifeless luxuries, emotional contentment there, fulfillment. This is a very independent card. So it does indicate this is your hard work, not other people's hard work. And likewise, it indicates that if somebody wants you, they've got to put a bit of hard work into that as well. You're not just going to drop your stuff for anyone at the moment. But success, celebrations, a very fruitful time indeed. Enjoy that. If you've picked number two, the eight of air. Now the Eight of Air from the Angel Tarot card indicates that your mind is all over the place. You could be causing yourself a bit of a pickle by overthinking something or frustrations there. Now this card is where there's a will, there's a way. So allow your mind to become a lot more freer. Try not to be so controlled by your mind. Try not to let a negative thought spoil something wonderful there. You'll need to think differently. You'll need to think outside the box. If there is something that you want to attain, then this card is indicating think differently and you can have it. You're not as stuck as what you first think you are. You can overcome something. Where your mind has created a negative vibe perhaps or a block, your mind can uncreate that. A feeling of being trapped or in an, an, in an, an illusion or spot at the moment but it's not quite trapped as you first think if you're thinking something is off to a negative start then this card says hold on a minute hold your horses because better things are ahead of you don't be afraid to take any action this really is a card to think in a different way now it's asking you to think differently your self-confidence might have been lacking but where your self-confidence is lacking on one side change that thought and bring in empowerment, manifestation. Where there's a will, there's a way. Now, if you've picked card number three, Archangel Gabriel, the awakening tarot angel card. He is asking you to see things from a different perspective. Now is a time of limbo and just literally hanging around. You can't rush at big decisions. He's asking you to look long-term, not short-term. Ask yourself, what is it that you wanna break free from? What is it you're trying to change? Perhaps there's something going on in your life that's repeated patterns all the time. It stems from something you're doing or you're allowing. 
So you need to see things differently and break free. Now, this card can ask you to choose between moving forward and changing something, breaking a habit, breaking free from an old pattern or an old relationship or an old way. That is gonna help your soul to grow. But if you choose not to, and it is all down to you, if you choose to stay, then that's fine. But you will be stunted in your growth and you will be going back to where you were. So the choice is yours which way you swing. But seeing things from a different perspective, looking long term, element of trust that the universe has you in its hands and is able to comfort you and guide you on a new pathway. Sacrificing things, letting go of the old, the awakening. Okay, and if you've chose card number four, the moon. Now the moon is all about hidden energy, psychic energy, spiritual energy, intuition, but also the unknown. So there could be something going on around you at the moment where there's a bit of an illusion to it or unknown energy coming in. So you'll need to trust your gut feeling. Super, super important that you do that now. Pay attention to spiritual signs, perhaps feathers or coins in random place. Things are not as they seem at the moment. So you could be hesitant in moving forward. There's more going on than what you know at the moment. Release any fears that you've got. Even though things may be going on behind your back that you're unaware of, trust the process. Pay attention to rushing into things. Weigh up everything. And be open to emotional changes. Things are not going to stay as they are. Go with the flow. And there you go, that is your four cards. One, two, three, four. I hope they make sense to you. If you'd like to book a full reading, just contact me on my website, www.katemay.co.uk.